So this fan is rated for five volt operation, but what happens when we go to six volts? Eight volts, 10 volts, 12 volts. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you who are new to the channel, I test and review PC cases, CPU coolers, PC case fans, and graphics cards. Before I get into this overview, to have full disclosure, I bought this NF-A12X25 5V PWM with the money uh, that was donated by Patreon or my patrons. So thank you very much to my patrons for supporting the channel and I hope you enjoy the video. Now I put this fan through my standardized fan testing, but because this fan's not a standard fan, I'm not quite treating this as a standard system fan review. This is going to be more of a WTF is this fan capable of type of a video. And does it make any sense to have these fans in a standard system? Answering that second part is pretty simple. No, no, they do not. They are not supposed to be, they are not meant to be. They are meant for industrial systems or servers, not for your gaming PC. So just taking a quick look at this fan. So this fan is meant for a five volt operation, even though it does have the standard four pin PWM connector. Its max rated RPM is 1900, and it does have Noctua's SSO2 bearing. Now, before I get onto the results of my standardized testing, I wanted to be very clear. You should not be buying this fan to be putting into a standard gaming system. Not to say that you can't, I'm just saying you should not be, because it is not meant for 12 volt operation, which is what a standard fan header on a normal motherboard is. And in Noctua's own words, the fan will be damaged. So you've been warned. And that's my disclaimer. Cool? Cool. Now let's take a look at how this fan acts when you actually plug it into a fan header on a motherboard. First using DC, so at 5 volts, which is what this fan's max voltage is rated for. This fan's RPM is at 1940-ish which makes sense since that is pretty much the rated RPM. At zero volts, no surprise, the fan stops spinning. The fan kicks on at three volts. The, the motherboard's not showing it, but the fan is spinning at 360-ish RPM. Now looking at the PWM range, at 0% PWM, the fan is not spinning. The fan kicks on at 6% PWM and has an RPM of 690-ish. At 41% PWM, which is about equal or supposed to be about equal to 5 volts, the fan has an RPM of 2310-ish. So that is interesting. I guess just having it with a 12 volt PWM is making things go weird already. At 50% PWM, this fan has an RPM of 2670-ish. And at 100% PWM, this fan has an RPM of 3660-ish. Now, if you have the fan running at 100% PWM for 50 to 60 seconds, the fan starts to stall or pulsate. And when I say pulsate, I mean the RPM drops and comes back up, drops, comes back up. Another interesting thing is this happens sooner and more frequently if you're using DC at 12 volts. So when you start putting things out of spec, weird things happen. I'm not entirely sure why this is happening, if it's something to do with too much heat, too much amperage, or whatever, but it's kind of cool that the fan is trying to save its own life, or that's what I'm taking this as anyways. Okay, that's it for the RPM range. Now before I move on to my standardized testing, if you are or do appreciate all the testing that I've done here, could you please support the channel by using my Amazon Associates links that are down in the description. All you need to do is click on the link that suits your location and when you add an item or items to your cart and order them, the channel will get a small kickback at no added cost to you. If you have any questions on how I test the fans, please watch my fan testing methodology video. I go over most everything there. There'll be a card along the top and I will also have it linked down in the description. But please note, I have updated the cooler that I use for the CPU cooling performance to the Frost Commander 140. This is so that I can test 140 and 120 millimeter fans on the same cooler. Please note, because of that pulsing I mentioned earlier, I did not test the A12 5V at 12 volts. 
Okay, starting with the DBA and RPM. So at four volts, the A125V had a DBA of 32.4 and an RPM of 1515. At six volts, the sound level went up to 39 dBA with an RPM of 2280. At eight volts, the DBA went up to 45.7 with an RPM of 2888. At eight volts, the DBA went up to 45.7 and that had the RPM at 2880. At 10 volts, the sound level went up to 50.3 dBA and that had the RPM going up to 3415. Okay, now for the sound recordings at each voltage, but first the ambient room sound for your reference. Plus I'll also have the 12 volt recording just to give you a better idea of what that pulsing is or sounds like. The airflow testing is next. As usual, I left the DBA numbers up on the chart for your reference. At four volts with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 300. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 270. And with the covered panel, it had an FPM of 150. Jumping up to 10 volts with no obstructions, the FPM was 715. With the mesh panel, the FPM was 665. And with the covered panel, the FPM was 435. Moving on to the CPU cooling performance. So the average steady state temperature at four volts was 75.2 C. At six volts, it was 72.4 C. At eight volts, it was 71.9 C. At 10 volts, the fan started doing that same pulsing thing halfway through the test. So I ended up shutting down the test and I'm just showing it as a incomplete. So yeah, really weird when you start running things out of spec for longer periods of time, they don't work properly. Hmm. Imagine that. Okay. I'll be comparing the NFA12 5V PWM with the Noctua NF a12 x25 pwm so the 12 volt variant which is the one that you should be buying the be quiet silent wings pro 4 120 pwm and the thermal right tl b12 extreme extreme however you want to say that so when looking at the dba chart the a12 5 volt variant is the loudest at each voltage for airflow the a12 5 volt variant is moving a fair bit more air than the other fans but though it is, it is also louder at each voltage, so that does make sense. The mesh panel testing looks much the same. In the cover panel testing, there is a large FPM drop across all the fans, although all the fans are still doing quite well here, so yeah. Moving on to the CPU cooling performance. So when voltage equalized and with the chart zoomed in, we see that the Pro 4, the B12, and the A12 5 volt variant is performing better than the standard 12 volt A12 variant. Now they are all significantly louder than the 12 volt variant of the A12. So yeah, this kind of makes sense. So what do I think of the Noctua NF A12 X25 5V PWM? All in all, this is a fan that the average person shouldn't even be able to buy. I'm not sure how many non-tech enthusiasts would even understand what that 5V would mean. I don't know if it's just me, but like, like, especially since it does have that four pin PWM connector and that it can actually be plugged into a gaming system. It's really weird to me. Like I would think that they should at least change the connector. I do kind of understand why they don't, but maybe because I would assume most of the time these are going to be plugged in through like a SATA power connector anyways, when you're in a server or an industrial system, but it's just really weird to me that they have it being the same connector that you like the average person isn't going to understand that there's a difference until they plug it in. Like if it's just, they have a friend that's like, 
yeah, Nox was really good. The A12s are awesome. And then they just buy something because that's what's there. That's what came up. I, I don't know. It's a little weird. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I don't know. And if you were to plug it into a standard system, I'm pretty sure it'd just be a waste of 30 to 35 USD because I'm pretty sure the fan won't last very long. But you can do it, but you shouldn't do it because it's not the way it was, it was not what it was designed for. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't even bother doing the 35 dBA performance testing here. Plus, I'm pretty sure it will work out to be very similar to the 12 volt, the 12 volt variant of the A12. So, there's that too. Now, if you are someone who has cash to burn and is someone who likes to actually play with things, test things, messing around with things or whatever, the NF-A12X25 5V PWM is kind of cool. But you do need to understand that there's a pretty good chance that you're just going to brick the thing. So you are just burning money at that point. Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. There is the HFG Discord server. It is completely free to join. All you need to do is agree to the server rules and then you get to view all of my charts for the system fans, the CPU coolers, and my case testing. A link is in the description. There is also Patreon. Again, I would like to thank my patrons for helping me actually make this video, just wasting money on something. Thank you very much. If you would like to support the channel directly, there is a link to the Patreon page down below. Uh, you may want to check out this video here. It likely would be another fan video or something, something to actually buy rather than just kind of throwing your money away. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.